Okay, so we start by taking our fillet knife and making a cut right across the body like that. And then we go over to the other side and we do the same thing. Okay, so I opened up the field of view a little bit more so that you can see better what's going on here. So just go down the, the spine like that until you get past, past the rib bones. And then you can just take and just go straight through the whole thing all the way down to the tail. So you got this part's already already free, and now you just got this part here to work on. And you got to kind of bump yourself over these um, pin bones and stuff here, and then work your way over the uh, rib bones. And if you have a decent fillet knife, you just follow the rib bones going down, and get as much of the meat as you can, like that. And there you go, and there's fillet number one. So, here's another nice barred surf perch. And once again, we start by cutting right behind the, the fin right there. Draw a line. And come over to the other side and do the same thing. And then cut right in alongside the backbone there. And until you get right down there, and then you just slide it through. And just follow the bone, which a good fillet knife should make easy to do. Like that, and you got this whole bottom part right there, and you just need to get right here. Got to get over the pin bones, and then you slide your fillet knife right alongside those rib bones there. So as you get every little piece of meat off and you don't waste anything like that and then you just cut that right there okay well, there's a nice fillet and there's the skin we didn't scale it because we're going to pull the skin off okay and now this time we're going to be filleting this uh, calico Got this nice um, nine inch calico right there on Veterans Day, along with those four barred perch and those two nice silver perch. And we'll cut in towards the backbone. And again, you just want to go down about a half inch or so. You don't want to go too far on this initial cut here until you get down to this spot here. That's where the anus is, and that's when you know that you've gone past the rib bones, and you just slide right against that bone there, and you get all of the meat right there, right off the bone. Okay, and then you go up here, cut around these pin bones until you get down to the rib bones. Right. and then slide it right across the rib bones to make sure you get every little piece of meat there you get all the way to the bottom like that and boom there we go. okay and here's our nine inch silver 
perch, which is a nice size for silver perch. I think the biggest I've ever caught might have been anywhere from 10 to 12 inches, somewhere around there. But they don't get any bigger than that. Across the body, like that. Okay. And then we'll cut right against the backbone. Let's come that way first, and then I go this way. Everybody does it different, but, well, not everybody. There's only so many ways, but there's probably a hundred different ways to fillet fish. This is the way that I do it. And then see, once you get right down there again, you just follow that backbone right to the end of the tail there, and you got a nice piece of a fillet there. And then, all you gotta do is get through the pin bones. That's where they connect to the ribs. And then just go right against them ribs all the way down. All the way down to get that full fillet there. Right across the bottom there. And there's a nice silver perch fillet. Right there. Okay, we'll pull the skin off in just a minute. See, that's what we pulled off there. See, there's some rib bones there. Okay. So, let's make this cut here across the side of the fish. Start out with. And then I'll start about an inch or so back this way. Come up first. For whatever reason, it just seems to work with me. And then, I start going this way. Again, just going about a half an inch down. Don't want to go too far initially. Until you get down here, past the rib bones, you push it through, and then you keep it right against that backbone. Boom. You pull this up. Look at that fillet. Nice, smooth. Through the pin bones there. Pin bones connect to the ribs. It's a little, always a little bumpy right there. And then you slide over the, the rib bones. Oops, <laughs> cut into my other fillet there. <laughs> Alright, and then go like that. And this guy is into the waste can. So, let's see. Yeah, these flies are real nice. Nice silver. So, now we take these two fine fillets here that we got. Right. Okay, and we use our skin puller. So we're not really pulling the skin off so much as what we're gonna do is, um, basically fillet this meat right off the skin. So just take our fine fillet knife here and just kinda just pull on the skin at the same time, push through with the knife and you will get the job done just like that. There it is. There's a nice fillet ready for the frying pan except for the pin bones we do want to remove the pin bones we'll do that in just a second let's get rid of this piece of skin here okay and we'll do the same thing with this one right here so we'll go down with our fillet knife until we hit the skin and then just kind of pull on the skin while you push the knife right underneath the meat, like that. And there you go. And then you get your skin puller, or whatever this thing is called. I think they originally made these things for pulling the skin off a of catfish. But, I don't know. It works really well to hold this skin like this. And then you take your sharp fillet knife you just kind of dig in and once you got it right above that skin then you can just kind of pull 
on your skin puller and push your knife at the same time like that and look at that huh there's all your skin goes in the waist can and we'll put this fillet right over here to the side now let's do the same thing on this guy let's remove this skin Again, and don't go past the skin hit the skin and it really takes a while the first time you do this you're probably gonna mess up but the more that you do this the more you get the feel for where that skin is and how far down you go with that and there you go and you just slide it off like that boom look at that it really pays to have a nice fillet knife Filet number two. There's a couple of not real nice filets now. Now the pin bones, those are the little bones that the uh, rib bones attach to. So the pin bones are only up in the top part of the body of the fish here. And you can remove them just by slicing in like that. And then slice in here. And you lose a little bit of meat, but it's all full of pin bones. You don't want to eat those. Nobody likes bones. We're trying to make boneless fillets here. So you lose a little bit right there, like that, for the pin bone. And then come back to this one here. And get those pin bones are right in here. And that should do it. And there you go, two boneless, skinless fillets ready for the frying pan. And I know it's a little bit of uh, skin or I think it's the stomach lining actually right here but well, we can remove that with our fillet knife just by doing a little bit of touch up there like that okay. and then appears to be a little bit on this one too so we're going to touch this one up as well and just go right under that stomach lining so you don't lose too much meat like that. And that's when it pays to have a nice sharp knife. Because if you didn't have a sharp knife, you wouldn't get all that fine meat like you have got right there. And I'm gonna show you how to fry these things up too, where they taste real good. So let's just put this over here on a little stack of, growing stack of fillets and continue. So, this one just needs the pin bones removed. That was the last of our fish. It all feels nice when you get to the bottom of the bucket. Okay. Let's pull this skin off here. Then we'll take these over to the sink, rinse them out, and put them in that plastic bag right there. And then probably fry them up tomorrow for dinner. I already had dinner tonight, so... It's getting late. It's past nine o'clock already, so. All right, there we go. What's that? And we are done.